I'm slightly stuffed up too. Okay, we're recording. We all can edit. <laughs> all right. Let me pull this up here. The only thing I don't have down is your intro. So I'll give it to you. Hey everyone, Joe Soto here, and I'm really excited for uh, the conversation that you're about to be in on with me and Evan Pagan. Uh, real quick, for those of you who don't know Evan, and before he, he starts uh, sharing some really incredible pieces of advice for all of us who are looking into getting more into coaching, um, real quick background, Evan, like myself, he's a husband and father, doesn't have as many children as me. Uh, but he's, uh, he's catching up. <laughs> he's got one. Uh, he's also an investor, an art collector. He's a coach, of course. Uh, and he started his first online business in 2001 um, from his bedroom, which is really cool, with just a computer and selling a book on dating advice, which is, uh, believe it or not, uh, to a lot of people's surprise, is how I was actually originally introduced to him. So he built a company, that company, to, correct me if I'm wrong, 80 full-time employees. Um, you did over $30 million in sales, which is absolutely insane. Uh, 100% virtually with no office. I have mad respect for that. And in 2007, uh, he came out with his first course on how to grow a business to $10 million per year to that level called Altitude. Great name, by the way, Evan. Um, his students, clients, and people he's mentored have done billions of dollars in sales. He's been interviewed by Tony Robbins, Larry King, and a lot of other people on how to find opportunity. That's what his latest book was on, by the way. Some of you maybe were introduced to him through me, through that book promotion that he did a while back. Um, and also the poor company, which is really cool. So here to talk about coaching with all, all of you and those of you that are watching this right now um, and why it's the key skill uh, to learn in the future is Evan Pagan. So Evan, welcome, man. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm excited to have you. And I've, you know, you, I've learned from you from, you know, many years back, as I told you, you're like, you're a mentor, didn't know you were mentoring me. So I really appreciate you taking the time. And let's get started in, in, by defining coaching. Because um, as, we, as you know, my audience is, uh, consists of digital entrepreneurs, digital consultants, and digital marketing agency owners. What's the difference between that and coaching? And how would you define coaching? Okay. Um, so first, just generally speaking, coaching, right? There are a couple of ways to look at it. One way is that coaching is help pe helping people take action and get results in their, their life. Um, I like to go further and think of coaching as helping people move through transitions and transformations in their life. Because if you're just thinking about coaching, you know, kind of like small C, it's like, you know, just helping somebody like, I don't know, you know, eat a better meal or go to the gym one time, but really helping someone to go through that whole transformation where they really change in their life. That's what I, how I like to think about it. more of a mentor kind of a role. Um, but to, you know, to answer the question about, uh, you know, relative to the way that you're asking it here, you know, a lot of people ask, what's the difference between coaching and consulting? Yeah. And my basic distinction is this, a consultant typically is hired to come and do the work, right? The consultant is there to do the work for you. Whereas the coach is someone to be there to guide you as you do it so that you learn the skill and you develop the confidence and you get the self-esteem that comes from doing it, right? The coach is more of a guide. You know, if you hire a guide to take you, you know, on a wilderness trip or, you know, take you up a mountain or something, or even a, you know, a tour guide to take you through a city, they're not doing it for you, right? They're kind of with you, helping guide you with the idea that once you, you know, get your footing and you learn how things go, you could come back there and do it yourself sometime, you know? And that's really the spirit. I think of coaching as being a kind of a mature thing to do. It's an adult thing to do because you're helping other people to stand up and become independent in their lives. God, awesome. I love that. And I, I love the analogies uh, of using it as a guide and it immediately made me think of uh, times in my life where I appreciated somebody guiding me on some of our vacations and some of our hiking trips where I was like, if he had just told us where to go, we would never have found this place. But because he guided us and walked us through the experience, we were able to get it. I love that. And I think that's a great uh, um, way of describing it. So follow-up question. Yeah. Why do you think coaching is so hot and growing so fast right now? Well, there are a combination of factors that are happening. One of them is just kind of simply that we humans, we need more help right now. We need more support in our lives. 
We've got more changes that are happening across more domains. All of us are interested in more things now. We're all interested in health and fitness and being better in our relationships. And we want to make money and we want to do spiritual practices. And we want to do all this stuff. And all of us are going through changes that's in some way in our life. Everybody's going through a transition of some kind. And we also, on the other side of this, we also have less social support. You know, so our social contact and our friendship is down. It's all on, the, it's all on our device right now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so now that change is accelerating and we've got more change and we're trying to learn these new things, that's when we need the social support. That's when we need a friend around to talk to and to kind of, you know, be supportive of us. We don't have it. And so everyone's waking up and they're realizing, you know what, I need help. And the, the role of the professional coach is just rising. And then another piece of this is that something interesting um, that's happening, right? So we kind of live in this connection economy and technology, especially a lot of the technology that's uh, really becoming powerful right now, whether it be social networking technology, but really even some of these sharing economy technologies like Uber, right? So yeah. everybody already had the cars. They were already driving around. They had the empty seat. And there were people that were right there that needed rides. They just created something that connected those people. You know, Airbnb, everybody had the extra rooms in their house and the people were going and staying in those cities. There was just no way to find the person that you wanted that had the extra room in the place that you wanted for the price and then work it all out. So technology is doing that. And whether it's job sites or dating sites, we're finally able to go and connect to a person in another place that we were never able to connect to before. And this is really fueling and funding the rise of coaching right now. It's so interesting and exciting because for the first time as a coach, whatever your specialty is, whatever your niche is, for the first time you can go out and find just that little group of people who would make great clients for you. You can target them with marketing. You can follow up with them. You can send them messages. And uh, yeah, I think that these things are you know, creating this perfect storm of why coaching is becoming so popular. Yeah, I, it's... Uh... I, I, I like the example of Uber and, and Airbnb and so true. And the other thing that you said, I think that hopefully if you're watching this, you're catching is he talked about, you know, you, anybody can go out and find, you know, a small pocket of those people that you could connect, connect with yourself and, and you don't need a lot of people. So when, when people say, you know, are people making money as a professional coach? You know, I think some people don't, they, they, they think that they have to have a thousand clients, but in reality, if, you're, if you hone your craft and you get good at coaching over time, and sometimes that time can be accelerated, particularly if you've got tools and, 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 and training available to you. And I know you give some free training to people as well, uh, Evan, but are people really making money in this profession that you've seen and, and somebody watching this, do you think there's an opportunity for them? Yes, absolutely. And there's, there's not much research because this is kind of new. One yeah. of the things, man, that, that really put me on this was uh, several years ago, I saw an article, a USA Today article, and it cited a, um, a research project that was done by the International Coach Federation that showed that on average, professional coaches were earning $214 an hour. Okay. okay. And, and then I saw another piece of research that talked about business and executive coaches th that corporations, these, these guys are paying an average of $500 an hour for yeah. this coaching. So professional coaches are charging two to $500 an hour. Now I, in my programs, I mean, you know that I've been teaching people to grow their businesses forever. And um, I, you know, 12, 12 years now, right. Since that altitude course that you, that you wow. talked about Amazing. and two, to my courses, to my live business scaling courses, these are courses on like how to grow a business to a million, 10 million, these levels. I have had hundreds of coaches come to those programs and I've had many thousands of coaches go through my other training programs. Some of the top coaches in the world and the ones that are, you know, the famous ones in our industry have been, you know, trained, trained by me. And a whole bunch of our yeah. friends are coaches. My wife is a coach. She's been a coach for 10 years. Her sisters are both coaches now. They've watched what we're doing. Um, and so I have you know, a lot of frames here. And I would say that these numbers are about right. These are actually really right. I know dozens of people that make in the six figures that are friends. Okay. These are like people that I've known for many years. And I, I know a whole bunch of them that are actually seven figure coaches. These are people that are millionaires from coaching. I had a, a client, an agency client of mine 
um, just a couple of short months ago who came to me and said, um, the owner, the CEO said, and we had done some consulting and agency work, meaning they had sourced a lot of the work to us even, but he had came to me and said, my daughter is now working for the company. And she had a marketing degree from, I think, Temple. And he said, um, I just need someone to coach her. And I said, okay. And I remember spitting out a five figure monthly number to do that. And he didn't even blink. Like it was like, that's, that sounds great. <laughs> and I'm like, in my, in my back of my head, I'm like, I didn't really even know what to charge, but I also knew the value I could give her if she was willing to execute on what I would be willing to guide her through. Um, and also I don't do a lot of personal coaching anymore. Um, so as you can, when you're not doing as much, you can put a little more of a premium on it as well. Yeah. So how did yeah, you get exactly. started? How did you get started in coaching? Like where did it, where did this come from? I mean, I, I know you did a lot of, you've done a lot of training programs. I know you've, um, you know, you've, you, you've, te- you've taught businesses and you just referenced, uh, you know, your, your, other, your scaling courses and altitude, which is one of several. Um, yeah. how did you get, how did you get started? Where did this come from? Yeah, kind of by accident. You know, I've been a coach now for over 25 years. Uh, I grew up in the backwoods of Oregon. I was a long haired rock and roll guitar player. That's right. That's trying, right. Trying to make yeah. it as a, you know, an artist and musician. And I, then I went and got a real estate license because I thought like that's how I can make money. And I was a miserable failure that, you know, there. And I, I started working for this company in San Diego and they taught sales and marketing, Joe Stump's company. And so I moved to San Diego to go work by him. And then I got into a fight with his partner. And I, all of a sudden I'm in this new town and I've got a nice car and apartment. And for the first time I'm finally making money and I had to start over. I had to literally start from scratch. And I said, okay, what am I going to do here to make enough money to support myself? And so I had been, cause I, you know, it was kind of a failure of real estate. I had been studying sales and marketing in real estate for a couple of years. And I said, okay, let me see if I can help the real estate agents around here to get some clients. And so I started calling them up and just saying, you know, hi, I've, I've got some tools and some stuff that I could help you get some clients. Would you like some clients? And I started meeting with them and uh, yeah, and I started working with them. My first client, um, he hired me, let's see, it was $1,500 a month for a three month contract. And I got him to pay me. I think he paid me for the first month in advance. And I would go in for a couple hours a week to his office and I would work with him. And then I started signing up others and I immediately, uh, for the next few years I did this, I charged two to $300 an hour and I, it was, it was spectacular. And what was interesting is, you know, I would have thought back then that it was just come in and do the work, you know, cause I thought I was kind of being a consultant. But what I realized is that when you're working with people that are trying to do something, they want to learn how to do it. They want to actually be coached. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want to develop the skill. And so it actually turned out to be probably like 50, 50 coaching and, and consulting, but that's really how I got started. Yeah. And I, again, you're making a great distinction between consulting and coaching. And, and I want to emphasize to who's, who's watching this um, on, on wherever I'm sharing this, which is going to be, you know, everywhere. But at the end of the day, I, I think this is a really important distinction. I had a, um, my agency for a couple of years focused on helping restaurants and I mean, we had like over 70 restaurants that we were helping on a, on a monthly retainer basis. And I, um, I found that uh, some restaurant owners wanted to know how to do it themselves. Like they were like, you know, tell me how to do it. And that's different. Consulting was in our case, we would consult sometimes and say, this is what, what you need to be doing. Um, and you can source it to us or your team can figure it out. But the coaching added a whole nother dimension. And I remember, you know, even students of mine saying, Joe, how do you, you know, you're charging $1,500 for, restaurants to leverage your marketing services. And that's not including their ad spend that they might spend on say Facebook ads, for example. And I said, what are you kidding me? I said, now I've got clients and this is true. that were paying me $5,000 for eight coaching sessions. And the, they were an hour long um, coaching sessions, not bad money for eight, for eight sessions. And all I would do is I would record those sessions. So they would have them almost like their own modules. I could have turned it into an online program. Um, when I first started out, I ended up turning it into an online program called restaurant marketing method, but I came up with that method through the coaching program. And I mean, I had clients who were doubling their sales because they could do it better than us. They could do it better than anybody because it was their business once they learned and had those tools. So, um, you know, that helps me even get clearer to be quite honest with you between, because I, while I called it coaching, I usually blur the description of coaching and consulting, but 
I think it's important not really to thoroughly understand that because there's a different skill set in that. There's a different skill set in being a coach than there is in being a uh, consultant or an agency service provider. So and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But can, can I just comment on that? Yeah, please. Yeah. So, so yes, good point. And part of this, you know, in my life, every few years, I take on a new thing to learn. And part of the process of learning it is I teach it. Yeah. Okay. So I learn it for a while and then I teach it. And right now, because I have a daughter, okay, yeah. who's six, um, I'm really interested in learning about how do you parent another human being? Because, you know, <laughs> while I survived my childhood, there was, it was, mine was, it was a little rough, you know, yeah. back there. And my mom paid a little bit of attention. My dad was not interested in like learning about parenting, you know, at all. And uh, the more that I learn about it, the more I realize that there's a real parallel between parenting and coaching. This idea of being a guide, you know, so, you know, to play on this a little bit, like I say, yeah. as a parent, right, your role is to be a tour guide to reality. Yeah. Like that's what you are. You're showing that. your kids how this works, you know, and that's kind of like what leadership is in a lot of ways, right? Yeah. And, uh, and if you're the kind of person who you like to guide other people, you like to do like true leadership, which is they grow up and they eventually become independent and they go off on their own and you define yourself by how many people have been with you and worked with you and, you know, been part of your life who have then gone on to become successful and even how many of them have gone on to become more successful than you, then now we're talking. Right now yeah. we're in the same yeah. zone here. This is what, this is what we're teaching. Yeah. Really cool. So that, that makes you a pretty damn good coach, by the way, <laughs> if that's well, true. We'll say, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's true. Um, trying. So if somebody's watching this right now and they're kind of thinking to themselves, you know, do I have what it takes to be a coach? What does it take to become a coach? Um, how do I even know that I should become a coach? What would you, what kind of advice would you give them on who should be, who's ripe for this? Like who's the right person that fits this mold? Well, if you just made it through all that stuff that I said and you're still here. <laughs> yeah, it's you. <laughs> it's you. It's you. <laughs> you can just point yeah. at yourself with two fingers and be like, oh, it's me. Um, yeah. But yeah, to answer the question. Um, so some people, they like helping other people succeed. Yeah. They're more, they're more heart centered. They're people that like to help other people grow, right? So if you're one of those people, coaching is probably a great job for you because in a great career and a great business, because it feels really good to help other people. Okay. I, I estimate 80% of the coaching that I do and I do a lot is free. I'm not paid for it. It's yeah. friends and people that, that I've worked with in the past and people in the industry and they call me up and they want some coaching and I help them out. And whenever I do one of these sessions, I always am finished and I'm like, that was amazing. I feel like my best self. I helped another human being. It's great. Now, of course, when I get paid to do it, you know, that's wonderful as well. But I'm at a stage now where I, you know, I, I do different things, right? So, um, so that's another thing is if you're, if you love that feeling, then this is wonderful because then you get to do something. You get, you know, you get to earn, you know, what I would call good money. You're doing something good and you're earning money and it really works out, you know? And then another one would be if you're a, like a self-development junkie, if you're like a self-actualization, you know, if you want the, like the fast track, if you want to get on the escalator to self-actualization, coaching is an amazing thing to do because it acts, because as a coach, one of the things that you're doing is you're almost becoming like a conscience for the other person. Yeah, that's great. You're there just observing, just observing, you know, there's that's this, uh, there's a, a scientific uh, uh, kind of principle that they've observed they call the Hawthorne effect. And what this is, is um, if some, if people believe that they're being observed, their performance goes up. Yeah. Even if they don't, even if you're not observing them for their performance, right? So they, the old story about this one was they went into a factory and they, changed out the light bulbs in there. They're changing all the lights and lighting color. And they said to everyone, you know, we're going to be changing the lighting in here. There's going to be people in here changing the lighting and like, just kind of like, a, like seeing what that does. And all of a sudden the productivity in the factory went way up. And they said, wait a minute, we didn't tell them, we didn't tell the people working in the factory that the, the they were going to be watching them. They just said they were going to be changing the lighting and they were going to be in here 
for a while, but they yeah. knew there were gonna be new people watching them. And so they went and they found this across a lot of different things. And so as a coach, I mean, this also goes back to, you know, getting paid a lot. Um, a lot of times when people come to me and learn coaching and, you know, again, I've, tra I've trained thousands of coaches, um, they come and they say, you know, oh, who am I to be a coach? You know, yeah. what, I don't have a degree. Don't you need a PhD or something yeah. like this? How are people getting paid so much, you know? And I say, okay, so listen, when you're a coach, it's about the client getting results. That's the game. If they go from a state of not taking action and not getting results to a state of now they're taking action, they're getting the result that they want in their life. They're losing the weight. They're getting the relationship. They're growing the business. They're doing whatever it is. If they go from one, from the not taking action, getting results to taking action, getting results, you're now worth it. Yeah. And you're now worth whatever it is that you're charging because that's huge. Okay. Yeah. So that's one piece. And another one is that we forget is we just usually become much better versions of ourselves when there's someone watching. And as a coach, if you just show up and you say, and I'm not suggesting that we be lazy, I'm just trying to point this out here. If you just show up and you say, um, okay, so what have you done this week? What did you do? What worked? What didn't? All right, great. What do you think you should do next week? You know, this coming week here, what are the action steps you should take? Okay, great. Let me write those down. Will you take those action steps? Great. I'll check with you next week. If you don't even really do anything sophisticated, if you just do that, you're going to have your clients, their performance is going to go way up. Just having some accountability, someone watching, someone that they know next week, oh, they're going to be there. And I, okay, so I got to do my thing here. Yeah. Right. And so your attention, human attention, when we're, when someone else is being watched, we perform better. Your attention is priceless. So remember that just being alive, your attention is very valuable. Okay. Um, I, I've gotten off track. I forgot the question. You no, asked, no. But. So good. Well, no, it's, it was like, who should become a coach? And you, you, this is really valuable. I, when I started my business in 2011, 2010, sorry, by 2011, we had grown so fast that I just didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was a wreck. I mean, I was, we were, we were hiring people. We were, we were trying to outsource some of the work, you know, and I have to be in 10 places at once. My wife and I, and I weren't slowing down having children. And, um, I hired a business coach. Um, his name is Monty. He recently just came out with a book actually. Um, and, uh, he was a action coach and action coach was at the time a business coaching firm. Um, that unfortunately I think hasn't taken all the right turns since, but this is back in 2010. And Monty though was like executive coach of the year, multiple years in a row and, um, came to me and, you know, it's funny because I look at Monty and, and, the number one thing he gave me was this, this accountability. He was watching over me every week. We'd meet once a week. I think it was like 2,500 bucks a month for one meeting a week. And I worked like a dog to try and meet the demands or to finish my homework or to, to actually implement the things that he had been coaching me on on a week to week basis. He did provide the frameworks some tools and, and lots of like uh, templates for us to use inside of our own company that kind of slowed us down in order to speed us back up and get ourselves reorged, you know, but I'll tell you what, I, I don't know if he has a degree. I don't know if he was necessarily, you know, had all these credentials, but I knew from the moment that we, he came and visit with us and had a conversation with us, he could help me. And he became an accountability partner for us. So everything you were just saying was instrumental to my early success in the agency business, quite honestly, was having, was having a coach. So um, and that's, that was probably the main dynamic, the Hawthorne effect, that knowing that he was, I didn't want to like let him down. Like I'm, <laughs> it got to be the point where I'm like, I got to do this because my coach is going to be here in a couple of days. And if I don't finish this and it was, he didn't have to do anything. He could just show up and have that effect on us. Um, now he did and, provide us with a lot of good tools and stuff. I know we could talk about that. So let's yeah. now, I also know that Monty didn't just, you know, all of a sudden know this stuff out of thin air. He went through a process to learn it. So if you were, advising somebody who's asking the question, what does it take to learn this stuff? Evan, what would you tell them? Yeah. Can I make a comment? Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to say something there. Um, Please. So I don't have a degree either. I dropped out of high school. Then I went to a local community college, dropped out of community college to go on tour with a rock band, like, and then I'm self-educated from there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. But I know something. And that something is, and I've learned this after, you know, reading a thousand books and interviewing all these different people and trying to figure out different areas of life myself. And what I know is that 
if another human being is trying to solve something in their life, they're trying to solve a problem or get a result or figure something out or get to the next level or get a job or lose weight. I know that if that person is trying to do that thing and they can't figure out how to do it, that if I take a genuine interest in them, who they are, where they're at, and I just ask them lots of questions to try to understand where they're coming from. How did you get into this situation? How did you get to the place where you want to do that thing? What have you tried? What worked? What didn't? Yeah. What, like, what do you, how are you thinking about it? If I just get in there for 20 or 30 minutes and I just talk to them and listen, some breakthrough is going to come probably more than half the time. It's not me having the breakthrough. It's just the person they've never thought about it themselves in yeah. depth. And just me being there, being interested is going to, you know, cause this to happen. And so, um, kind of speaking to the deserving issue of, you know, who am I to be a coach and, you know, yeah. it's, if it can be valuable and do I need whatever, if you'll just learn the skills of how to do this, the set of questions to ask the mindset, the way to hold the space and then get in there with a person, you you'll be the only one in their life who's actually genuinely interested, like really interested in them, who's willing to sit for 30 or 60 minutes and understand and go down all the rabbit holes and figure out like, how did they get there in their thinking and their behavior and everything else. And if you take some notes and you lay it all out, you just, you become the most valuable person in their life. Just that alone, because then you're holding up this mirror. They say, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. So it's just, you just have to learn how to do this. And then everything, relationships, projects, collaborations, leadership, they become so much easier. Yeah. Great point. Thanks for sharing and, and, and going off on that. The, the, um, you're not, you know, uber familiar with my sales process. I teach in my courses necessarily, but, um, you know, I come from learning from you originally as well. And, and some other people, uh, less than a handful of people that I would ever recommend people learn from, by the way. Um, but in my own sales process, and if you're watching this and you've been through one of my courses, you know, this to be true. I talk about that since having that sincere interest when you go in and first meet with a potential client, because it deepens the relationship first of all, right from the beginning, but also they then appreciate the fact you're making them think you're, you're pausing and them to think and reflect on their business. Coaching takes it to an entirely new level. It takes it much deeper than that. And it's not just about with the aim of getting them as a client. It's with the aim of having them have a breakthrough or what you described early on as a transformation, helping people move into a transformation, which I, I love that part of the definition, by the way, when I wrote it down. Um, next question. Hey, oh, I, we were, oh, we were talking about how long does it take to learn, right? So, um, yeah, yeah. you know, if somebody was, if somebody said, okay, today I'm going to learn how to be a coach. I, I'm, I'm buying into this. I like this idea of becoming a coach. And I personally think that, you know, every consultant or, or agency owner and, and I've been able, and, and business owner, quite honestly, needs these skill sets. I, I think anybody in an entrepreneurial or leadership position also needs this skill set. What is, how long does it take for somebody you think to learn this, like to get, to get enough of the coaching skills to start going out and maybe attracting new clients? With us, it's 90 days. You know, okay. in 90 days, we can, we can train someone. Okay, yeah, sorry. yeah, in, in 90 days, we can train someone to be a coach. You can awesome. learn the skills to target your unique coaching niche and kind of start working on your personal brand, to go out and start getting clients, to put together a package of coaching sessions that you can sell, and then to actually get and start working with clients. It takes 90 days. And what kind of fees do you see people being able to charge for their coaching service? I know you mentioned some of these fees out earlier, but if I'm new starting out, let's say I have a little bit of experience in terms of, you know, maybe I've had some clients in, the, in my agency, or maybe I'm an entrepreneur that's had you know, some, some, you know, degree of success. And I want to now be a coach or start offering coaching as a service and get yeah. ultimately paid for it. Like what, what are you seeing out there? Yeah. And I know it's a big so, rate. Hard to answer. Yeah, that. sure. And you know, again, your mileage may vary, you know, I'm not trying to make a bunch of income claims here, but I've just been doing case studies for the last couple of weeks because we're launching our program here. And I've been yeah. talking to lots of people that have been through our course. And um, I've talked to lots of people who have started out legitimately selling packages and charging one to $200 an hour for their coaching. Some much more. I talked to, uh, you know, one gem gentleman named Mick, who's charging 2,500 to $5,000 a month, you know, for his coaching. I've got another uh, student of mine who just, you know, blew me away. I hadn't talked to him before. He got some of my courses when he was younger. He's been with me for a while now. He, when he yeah. was younger, he started buying my courses, but you know, he's got group coaching programs that are $40,000 and he's put, you know, 
a hundred and something people into a $40,000 group coaching program. He's got a hundred thousand dollar group coaching program that he puts uh, folks into. So I've seen, wow. you know, the range. I mean, I have met, I know two different people that have $250,000 coaching programs, a one year coaching program. That's $250,000. One of them, it's a group program which is amazing. Yeah. And of course, I know one person that charges a million dollars a year for coaching. How, that's how Tony the, Robbins, but yeah. it's a million a year. <laughs> it's a million a year. Yeah. So for somebody watching this, like what, what, how do you define group coaching versus regular coaching? Okay, so I'll answer that by also saying that uh, coaching is a, just a brilliant and beautiful career path. Yeah. It's not just a skill to learn, it's actually a no. new career path and it's a career path that leads to other career paths. Okay, that's the I, thing to remember. I love this. I'm going to stop you just for a second, comment on this because I just had a uh, a meeting with um, my own mastermind group, and there was a gentleman in my group who had been struggling as an agency owner, and he was struggling in that, and to the point where I I almost seemed like when he was talking about it, it's like he didn't really like it, and then he was talking about some things because we were, we were, I was like, well, wait a minute, you were the number one salesperson in your previous company. And you, you, um, you obviously had a passion for sales. And he says, oh yeah. And I said, can I ask you a crazy question? He said, yeah. I said, if it was, if it was six months from now and you had, this is exactly what I asked him. I said, if you had 10 paying monthly agency clients paying you at a high level, or you had a handful of coaching clients, where you were just doing sales coaching for this just happened like last Thursday. Um, and you, now I go, not as many clients as you would have with an agency. And these are agency people are on retainer, but the coaching may have you on retainer, but you're not working with very many people, but you're doing sales coaching and it's your time. Which would you choose? And he says, I would take the sales coaching. And I said, well, then you're focused on the wrong career path right now. Then maybe you should back off of that. And it was almost like a, a relief off the show. He just needed someone to tell him that coaching, right? <laughs> like it's okay to let that go and focus on a path that maybe is invigorating to you. It was like, you could see the light bulb in his head, like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, that would be way more fun. Like, well, that's, that might be the path you need to go down. So there's probably somebody watching this. This is gonna sound, dare I say, to some people maybe crazy I'm saying this because I teach people how to become agency owners and how to mm -hmm. be successful as a digital marketing consultant, but there are definitely people who are watching this, who may need a new career path altogether to what you just said. So for some people, it's you should add this to your collection of services or add it to your skill sets. But what you just said was, maybe it's a whole nother career path altogether or a new new path to go down. And and I don't, exactly. I don't really care who's watching this. I want what's best for them to genuinely have what's best for themselves to go out and make a living and have a career that they're having the most joy and happiness in. And if it's not something I'm teaching, I'd rather, I'd rather be something you're teaching, <laughs> you know? So I'm just, just, I just, yeah. just happened to me, by the way. Sorry, I went off yeah. tan. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, and so, you know, down the road of, down the path of creating a career path, yeah. um, once you learn coaching, okay, so yeah. let me just backtrack for a second. We were talking about, about the group coaching, coaching versus regular coaching. Yeah, exactly. So um, I've taught over the years, I've taught many thousands of people how to create online courses and digital products and membership programs. The, the knowledge industry has been very good to me. You know, I've launched over 10 brands that have done a million dollars in sales. Four awesome. of them have done 10 million in sales. I've just, I've done a lot in, of this stuff and I've taught a lot of people around the world, many different topics. And by the way, I was very successful at selling my own courses of dating and relationship advice long before I ever started teaching this stuff. It was never on my radar to teach this stuff. It's just, you know, it kind of happened after that. So I built a very successful company doing that before I started teaching. Okay, so when people come to me and they want to, and they just don't know where to start, they're like, well, I wanna create a course. What should I do first? I always tell them, start coaching. Okay, you actually should start out by doing coaching because then you get to see how your ideas work and you see what people actually do. Yeah. And you get to filter out all of your knowledge and then you take the things that work and you put those into your course. You get some experience with them. Okay, so coaching is step one of a staircase of development here in the knowledge, the digital knowledge industry and the whole digital right. economy. So step one is coaching. Once you coach for a while, you start seeing the patterns and you start seeing what people will do and what they won't do. Then you can have a group coaching program and you can leverage and you can go from having one client to having six, eight, 10. 
and there's a dynamic that gets set up. It's actually in a certain sense easier to have a group of people because then they start interacting with each other. You can coach one and everyone else gets to hear it. They can coach each other. So now you can have a group program and now you're leveraged because, you know, let's say that you charge half as much for the coaching package for the group coaching, but you have 10 people in there. All of a sudden you five X, you know, what you're earning. Once you've done group coaching for a bit, and then again, you have more experience seeing what works and what doesn't, then you can create a class or an online course. And then now you can start being really scalable because now you can have a thousand people or a hundred thousand or a million people. You know, it's almost like duplicating yourself and you get to go out and teach people all around the world. And then if that works, you can create a membership, right? I've had multiple membership programs that have subscribers where you can send them content or interviews or, you know, coaching uh, in different ways. You can coach people and then have everybody in the membership watching that. Yeah. You can create, you can, yeah, you can just keep going. You can create masterminds and there, awesome. you know, there are lots of things you can do. So coaching, it really is the very, very best first step if you want to eventually be an author or a teacher or a guru of some kind, um, because you know, you can get started quickly, you can start earning actual income, you get basically paid for doing the research to create your product, th it's the best first step. So you've got this virtual coach training program that you're, you're rolling out. Um, I'm excited for it. I know you've, you've uh, retooled and refined some pieces of this and you're launching this. You're in the middle of it right now. Um, yeah. Tell us what that's all about. Yeah. Yeah. The virtual coach is, so my wife is a coach. She's yep. been a coach for over 10 years. I'm a coach. I've been a coach for 20 years. It's my wife and I taking our best ideas about coaching. We have very different ideas and strategies and approaches and putting that together with my partner and several of our friends who are literally millionaire coaches and teaching a, a new class of folks who want to start a new career, who want to learn this skill, who want to start a business who really want a, a new thing in their life. They want to start something new that can really take them far. And for folks that want to join the digital economy and people who want to take what they know and have it go out and like make a difference, you know? And so the, the virtual coach is a 90 day program. And what you get as part of the 90 day program is you get 10 full days of live training with me and with my wife. I've built this new video studio this year and it allows me to do really powerful training. I've got a multi-camera shoot in here and I've got a whiteboard. And, uh, and so you get to do, so every couple of weeks we're gonna spend a day together and we're gonna learn a different area of building a coaching business, how to get clients, how to create your coaching package, how to position yourself and create your personal brand and a bunch of other stuff. We also have um, three different um, kind of home study programs that you go through that are content of um, learning our coaching model that we call the next level coaching model. And it's actually a personal development and kind of self-actualization model that I've put together based on developmental psychology. So you learn the model, then you go through a training program where you learn how to coach the model. And then you go through a training program where you get 10 tools, which are the 10 best uh, coaching tools that I have designed and developed and collected over the last 20 years. Cool. And once you learn the model and then you get the tools, now you've got the foundation of a package that you can sell for a lot of money. Then we teach you marketing. And then you learn about how to market on Facebook and you learn how to market on Google. You get to attend live classes with me and ask questions. You get to listen to me actually coaching people live, which when you hear my wife and I coaching people, it's probably the, the most valuable piece because then you get the download, then you get the transit transmission yeah. of how it works and you get okay, to real time. Yeah, exactly. And at the end, you come to a three-day summit, uh, our virtual oh. coach summit in February, and you get to come for three days with us. Where's that at? And it's in Los Angeles, and it's definitely worth the ticket price all by itself. Um, and I'll tell you, this is the third time that we've taught the virtual coach. That we've we have not had the live summit before. We just added that. We did our first we did a first live summit a few months ago, and it was extraordinary. It was one of the most powerful and transformative things we've ever done. So we said we need to do it for this. Uh, program as well. Yeah. Um, and we only, we only teach something like this. I only teach a course once a year where I teach it live. And so this is the time when I teach this live. And uh, yeah, if you're thinking about being a coach, this is the best training you could possibly get. Super cool. I did not know you're doing a three day summit. That's neat. And it's in yeah. February. Smart. Yes, please to get come. Out. Not the East coast. <laughs> he's yeah, no. he's going no, no, to no. LA in February. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome. I, I, you know, for one, know that if you, you know, just to reiterate a couple of things, you're going to, you're giving people the tool set. 
you're giving people the structure and the framework to have a successful, you know, not out of box, but after the 90 day program, you're ready to go. I mean, really inside the 90 days, you're learning how to be, you could be getting clients. Is that true? Oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. You're going to go through this program. And by the end of 90 days, you're going to be getting clients and awesome. you're going to be building your business. Yeah, so, I guarantee it. And I'll, and I'll tell you, I've, I've looked at a lot of coaching programs and the main, there's two things, really three. Now that I heard you mention one of them, like there's a third thing that's missing from a lot of these. There's a lot of coaching programs out there. I mean, let's just be honest. There's people trying to teach coaching everywhere. And I have never endorsed or recommended any of them. None. <laughs> and, uh, the main reason is because uh, I've met people that come out of those programs and they know some good stuff because there's a lot of good teachers out there. What's missing that tends to, that I know that you're an expert on is the marketing, the getting clients and the personal branding stuff I heard you add in there. Yeah. Um, most people are trying to sell that stuff as separate courses, as separate programs. And I know you have other programs that take those, that stuff to another level, but the fact that you can you 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 know you talked about it being your career path. In order for that to be true, in order for that to be congruent, you have put in there and making sure I'm going to help you get clients. I'm going to help you market your services and business on Facebook and Google. I'm going to help you with your personal branding, which you know is instrumental to helping people get 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 the have the coaching and or the the marketing be effective. So that's why I love this, Evan, and 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 that you're you're giving people everything they need, not just pieces of what they need. Yeah, no, this is complete. Yeah, this is complete. complete. I've, I've been a shorter way of saying what I just said in 10 cents. No, no, that it's perfect. I've been, <laughs> I've been studying, you know, this, I've been studying marketing now for 25 years and yeah. really trying to understand marketing and sales and how to do it in an ethical way where you can feel good about it, but where it works, you know, and where it, you can go out and you can hunt and you can, you can get clients. So I understand the marketing and the sales side. I've trained, you know, as you know, most of the I don't know, the big players in our world have been through my trainings in some way. Yeah. But then also I'm really passionate right now about the coaching. And yeah. I'm really, I really am trying to, the reason it's, I'm it's teaching still part it, of it. I mean, people have to be able to get clients in order for, to use the coaching. I, I can't tell you. I mean, I just was at an event. I'm not going to mention the event in names. And I met dozens of people who had been trained in as, as coaches different than what you're offering. And I asked them all the same question. Like how many clients do you have? Do you have clients right now? And they're like, well, I haven't, I haven't been able to figure out how to get clients yet. And I'm like, well, it's like you're, we get, you get, you, we get to help you with that. Like that's, that's what you're missing. And, and the fact that you have a program that's complete gives people confidence and there, and, and two pieces, people need confidence. That they can get clients, but also confidence. They can deliver results. Hence the 10 different best tools that you've seen work for you and the frameworks that you're going to provide to people. To me, that's where self-confidence comes from. Most people lack the self-confidence when they don't think they can really get results for the person on the other side of them. And your program's giving them this confidence. It's really cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. yeah, thank you. In fact, I just talked to a woman who totally inspired me. Her name was Ebieri. She's in Nigeria. She bought the virtual coach from us yeah. and she bought it on a payment plan because it was for her, it was very expensive to buy. And she learned the course and she did it, you know, exactly as we said. And she started by just, you know, writing to all of her people on her list and her friends. And she got a bunch of clients and she literally took our 10 tools and she just did one of them each week and she made a 12 week package. So she gave them week six and week 12 off where they just did reflection. And that literally that's her package and she's off and running and building her business. Brilliant. Yeah. So the tools are that powerful. You could literally just make a package just on the tools, run people through them and you've got an awesome, awesome coaching package. Brilliant. And there's a short window for when you're making this program available, available for people. Yep. And now I actually know, one of the reasons why there might be multiple, but one of the reasons is because you have an event coming up in February and you can't have 50,000 people at the event. So there's gotta be some sort of limit. Um, but there is a short yeah. window. What would you tell, what would you say to somebody who's like on a fence right now? Like, I, I don't know, you know, if this would really be for me, what would you tell them to do? Um, I would say this, I'd say if, if what we're saying is making sense to you, if this sounds right to you and you're saying, you know what? Yes, I need to learn that skill. I need to learn coaching because I can see how it's going to be valuable to me in business and it's going to help me grow as a person. And I, if this all sounds right, but I don't know, maybe I don't know you or whatever. Number one, we've got a hundred percent money back guarantee. We got two guarantees in fact, so you can go check that out. Um, but the other thing is th this is the real deal. Like this actually is it. I have been training coaches now for 
I mean, over 10 years, they've been coming to my programs. I've trained thousands of them in my marketing programs, my business yeah. growth programs. We've trained 1,600 of them just in the virtual coach alone. This really is it. And you're going to come here and not only learn our model and see you know, multiple different ways of doing it with me and my wife, but you're going to meet several millionaire coaches, people that I've trained, people that are friends, people I've learned from that don't teach in any of these programs because I've been friends with them for 10 or 20 years. I mean, these are you know, these are underground kind of people you're not going to be able to learn from anywhere else. You're really going to get the best quality training that's out there. And you're going to leave with confidence. You're going to leave with knowing how to get clients. And most important, you're going to leave knowing how to sit down with any person anywhere in any situation and help them identify what they want and help them remove the blocks and help them succeed in their life. You're going to become a better partner, a better parent, a better entrepreneur, a better investor. This is going to be, it'll be one of the best investments you've made in your life. And I really mean that. Awesome. Well, if you're watching this, there's going to be a link somewhere around here. And I would just say, click on it and, you know, decide for yourself. You, you be the judge. Go through everything that he's listed out on the page. And, and, and uh, in fact, you have a free training program. So that's what I'm going to link people to. And, yeah. and I've already been through the initial pieces of that. And just what you're giving away for free is worth the click on the link alone. So, uh, really valuable stuff. Thanks for taking the time, Evan. Is there anything else you'd like to say or can we part here? That's no, it. that's it. You know, come join us. This will be transformational. It'll be the most transformational experience that, that you could have. And it sets you up perfectly for 20, 2020 and beyond. Yeah. And everyone has a chance to go meet Evan in person in February just by getting this program. So that, like he said, is worth it too. So Evan, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule. And thanks for listening. If you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'm here to help as well and answer anything that may come to your mind. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me.